Hello guys, this is Cyber and I want to give you some helpful hints and tips to help you out in Umbrella Core. First, if you purchase the game on Steam, you might want to go in and go to the options and turn off the overlay. Sometimes the overlay can leave a trace on your screen during play. This will help you out so you won't have that anomaly on your screen and it won't get all in your way. Next, I recommend if you're playing with the keyboard and mouse that you go into the options and you tweak the mouse sensitivity settings. Also, you want to turn off the aim assist. This makes gameplay a lot smoother when you're playing with keyboard and mouse. The controls are pretty straightforward from here. WASD to move, left mouse to shoot, right mouse to aim down sights, and I want to move on to some of the gameplay here. I recommend that you play the tutorial. The tutorial will show you how to take advantage of the tactical aspects of the map. This will help you in thinking outside of the box and getting that upper hand on your opponents. Now what I'd like to do is describe the modes of play contained both in the single player and the multiplayer. Although the single player you do not have your zombie jammer, and in multiplayer you do have your zombie jammer. Now remember in multiplayer you do not have to worry about the monsters initially. You have a zombie jammer which keeps you from being noticed. This allows you to move around the map unnoticed by the monsters so you can complete your objective. Use this to your advantage. If you attack the monsters, they will attack you, so don't touch them until you have to. The one mode that is unique to multiplayer is the one life map. As it says, you have one life, that means no respawn. Once all the players on the team have been wiped out, the other team gains a point. At the end of all the rounds, whoever has the most points wins the match. The next modes I'll cover are found in single player and in multiplayer. In single player, each mission is a single instance of one of these modes. When playing multiplayer, when selecting multi-mission, a random mode is selected each round that you play. At the beginning of a round, pay attention to the screen. It will let you know which objective you are playing for. The domination mode is what you would call a control point mode. On the screen, you'll see a diamond with a number in it. Run to that point, you'll find an antenna with a radius around it. Standing within that radius will capture the point. As the time counts down, your team will gain points towards your score. There are two ways to win. Have more points than the other team when the time runs out or collect the amount of points needed to win. The DNA Hunter mode is a really easy mode to win if you're paying attention to your objective. In DNA Hunter, you want to kill the monsters in the map and pick up their DNA. The DNA is a little box that falls on the ground with a red light on it. Pick up these boxes by running over them and make sure you get enough to win. There is another DNA Hunter mode called SP DNA Hunter. Now be careful not to confuse this with the other one. The SP DNA Hunter has one specific monster you're looking for. This is a special infected that will run around the map. He's very tough, so be careful when you try to kill him. But once you kill him, pick up that DNA sample and win the match. The collector mode is very easy to win or very easy to lose. You must go around the map and collect five free cases. If your team has all five, you automatically win. The same goes for the other team. So get there first before the other team. If you shoot a player who's holding a briefcase, they drop that briefcase and they can steal it. You can carry multiple briefcases, so be careful not to get killed if you have more than one, because they can take them all and win the match. These remaining modes that I'll cover are unique to multiplayer. Respawn match is a basic team death match. There's nothing extra I can say here about that one. Target Hunter highlights a player on each team, and you only score if you kill the highlighted player. You also want to protect the highlighted player on your team. In the protector mode, there is one briefcase on the map, and the longer you hold the briefcase, the more points your team gets. So you want to get to that briefcase and hold it longer than the other team in order to win. Collar War is a team deathmatch mode where the kills only count if you pick up the collars that the players drop when they're killed. You can also pick up collars that are just laying around from other fights that have happened where other players have been killed. So make sure you run around and grab those collars, and that's the way you win this mode. I want to thank you all for spending your time with me. I hope this guide has been helpful. And if you like it, hit that like button. And if you want to hear more, hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you all again. This has been Cyber.